some of our goals and expectations for this coming season. Uh, number one is to just simply make the playoffs. Uh, we've knocked on the door the last few years uh, due to circumstances beyond our control and a little bit of our own control. We didn't make the playoffs, but we would be very, very disappointed this year if we did not make the playoffs. We want to stay healthy on the field, maintain our GPA, and represent Franklin and Marshall with class as we always do. We pretty much return everybody. We graduated one senior last year. Um, we, have, we bring back uh, left field, center field, first base, second base, third base, shortstop pitcher, two pitchers and a, and a catcher. Uh, right field's up for grabs right now, who was the person we lost last year, uh, but it'll be filled in very simply with our freshman class, which is a terrific one. Um, but everybody that was on the team last year is gonna come back and return and make some key contributions again this year. So we have a nice freshman class. Uh, Ryan Correa out of Connecticut uh, is looking to be our catcher. Uh, just the other day though, she suffered a concussion. So we're trying to work through that right now. She's a middle of the lineup hitter and would be as a freshman and we're hoping she, we can get her back quickly. But we're lucky because we return a first team all conference catcher who we're moving to third base anyway, just for Ryan's sake this year. Um, so we, we can, we'll, we'll be okay at the catching position short term. Uh, we bring in somebody named Alexi Pikinich, who is a great third baseman out of North Jersey. Um, so she'll move into the third base slot that we thought we were going to move Aaron Russell to. Um, so we're not going to lose anything there. And she's also going to be our first baseman when Katie Wenger has to pitch, and who pitches every other game. Uh, Lexi's also a power hit, and she'll hit right in the middle of our lineup. She's coming off of like two ACL surgeries, so getting her back on the field is, is, uh, is a challenge for us right now, but we think she's ready to go. Our preseason is looking terrific. We have put in leadership council for the first time. We have four captains. Our team culture has completely changed this year for the better. Everybody's all in. It's really looking good. We are working really, really hard. Uh, with a limited roster like we had, we had 20 last year. We'll be down to about 14 this year. Um, everybody knows they're gonna get a lot of playing time. Everybody's happy about that. Uh, practices are going terrific. Uh, we're gonna be outside for the first time on our field in February in my memory, and that's a good thing for our team also. And we're ready and raring to go. So we have a really, really tough schedule this year. We open up with number 11, Rowan, and number 19, Wisconsin-Eau Claire in Florida, right off the bat. Also in Florida, perennial national powers, Case Western and Ramapo are on our schedule right away. So we're gonna know exactly what our team is made up of right away in our season. Uh, our non-league schedule this year, we've added Susquehanna and Kings, and they are also big time 25 win teams, and they will get us ready for our conference schedule, which, as you know, every year the Centennial Conference, it's, it's flip a coin who's gonna be the four teams in the playoffs. So it'll get us ready. This non-league schedule and early part of our schedule is gonna get us ready for conference play. This year we're really excited. We have four captains this year. Aaron Russell, Kelly Vanalinda, Katie Wenger, and Izzy Schaefer. They have taken over the running of this team off the field and a lot of it on the field too. Uh, they are looked up to by the players on our team. We are excited to have captains who are gonna lead us to places we've never been before. It's working out, they're respected by the players and their coaches, and I cannot wait to get this season started in a couple weeks.